This is Fred Rowe from Sierra Bright Dot Fly Fishing Guide Service. I've been teaching, guiding, writing, and lecturing on fly fishing since 1982. This week's fly fishing report is pretty much all about the weather. Another little storm's coming through. We're not expected to get a lot of precipitation, rain in the valley, snow in the upper elevations, but we never know until it's on the ground. Hi, Upper Owens River. Well, road at Benton Crossing in 395, the Green Church area, it's still closed down. As I understand it, there's three trapped vehicles out there that need to be removed, and they're not completed with the snow removal out there because of equipment, employees, and snowstorms. It just hasn't gotten done yet. Okay, let's go over to Hot Creek. Well, Hot Creek, we can park on Hot Creek Hatchery Road, right at School Road, and walk in from there to the interpretive site. That's the easier walk. We can fish in there. I'm thinking midges and blue-wing olive nymphs in there. And then over in the canyon, well, that's for the angler who wants to put in the extra effort. It's a couple mile walk in there, and then you have to walk in and out of the canyon. I'm recommending snowshoes for in there. And again, same kind of flies. I'm using midges, tiger midges, and zebra midges, and also a beadhead flashback, pheasant tail. Okay, down the hill to the Lower Owens River. Well, it's dealing with high flows and muddy waters, so it's really tough to fish right now. If you're fishing nymphs right down on the substrate, on the bottom, in the slower areas, the seams, or in the back eddies, then you might get a fish. But I'm not really putting any effort into that. It just isn't fishing well right now. We need it to clear up before we can really fish it. Bishop Creek Canal, same kind of problem. It's got high, dirty water, but it's starting to drop. We will see what this last rainstorm does. If it messes the water up, if we can fish or not. And the same thing, I'm fishing midges, blue-wing olives, and the olive quildagon in there. This has been this week's Fly Fishing Report, brought to you by Sarah Bright Dot. And I can be found on Instagram, or Facebook, or YouTube through Laughing Parrot Productions.